Elizabeth! Sean! Dad's here! Call it Alice Training Amplify to the Max. <laughs> For once in their classroom careers, these students were encouraged to throw whatever they could at Butler County Sheriff's Deputy Zane Nickel. Is everybody okay? Yeah. Everybody okay? Yeah. Watch in slow motion as chairs, a stapler, tennis balls, you name it, fly through the air when Nickel unexpectedly barreled his way into this Madison local school's eighth grade science class. While students were making it clear Nickel was not wanted, two school resource officers raced in and played their part, simulating Nickel's Quick. arrest. Stay together. This completes the drill. After the dust settled, Superintendent Lisa Tuttlehuff talked to students about the intense safety drill. What were your feelings? <laughs> Scared. Scared? Scared. 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 My hands are still shaking. Your hands are still shaking. <laughs> we were like all like trying to help each other. We were like. <laughs> Tuttlehuff says the students reacted exactly the right way. They knew what to do in case something like this did happen. Madison local school leaders have embraced an aggressive form of an active shooter safety program many parents know as ALICE, which stands for Alert, Lockdown, Inform, Counter, Evacuate. Our parents are definitely embracing um, the ALICE drill. They know our students need to be prepared. Unfortunately, we had an incident, so they, are, they do know our kids need to be prepared. Three years ago, a student fired a handgun in the school's cafeteria, injuring four classmates. The first thing I hear from people, I didn't think that would ever happen here. School resource officer Kent Hall braved the student's gunfire in 2016 and prevented more damage. Sean! He says drills like this one make it clear to students they can do whatever it takes to stay safe. This school has taken a, a proactive opinion, you know, and, and basically says we're going to fight if we have to. Elizabeth! Sean! The drill started with Nickel rampaging through the school, to acting like an enraged up. father. Back it up! I asked Tuttlehuff if she worries that such a loud and unpredictable exercise can frighten Sean! students. I don't, because, you know, if an incident happens, it's going to scare your child, and they need to know how to react. During a post-drill meeting with her staff, Tuttlehuff saw the way students reacted on video for the first time. As this jarring and realistic lesson in safety came to a close, <laughs> Tuttlehuff gave these students high marks. Nice job. Congratulations. I'm proud of you. We